all right guys here's another video here i wanted to upload this was a pretty fun uh, during mid-year mayhem so uh, a lot of pveers out here looking for the pvp glory but this group here of uh, ad didn't really find that came in with really good positioning here um, i'm running clever alchemist and bone pirate getting ready to proc clever alchemist here and getting ready to get my db up just wanted to show here that this is in no cp but it is definitely coming together this build is uh definitely pretty powerful i'm really liking it i've always run it in the past because i love the clever alchemist product that you can control i'm always on the fence in between clever alchemist and ravager but um i think i may stick with clever alchemist because ravager is really hard to time and unlike seventh legion the is no real indication of when it actually goes off here um, so I'm definitely liking the proc that you can actually control and um, here just doing a really good job at getting my positioning in using streak effectively um, playing in no CP has actually really helped me with resource management um, knowing how many streaks I can get off or how many dark deals I can get off with low resource um, regen which is actually really good here in, in this clip here I'm not really hitting too many streaks which uh, or stand so it can be detrimental to your magic if you really need that especially when running um, crit surge as well which is actually a really good heal if you have pretty good crit which on this one here i have decent crit um, on this one here i also am using evil hunter to get that crit bonus going uh, which has really helped me and see the heals coming in pretty good um, this is mainly a dot build and then no cp without the amplification of the dots is actually doing really really well so um all I gotta do now is get the CP down on this one, but definitely um, Clever Alchemist Bone Pirate um, only having the bow count as two pieces and proccing the Clever Alchemist on the back bar with two agility main hand weapons is really, really good. That's one thing I always love about Stamp Sork is that your resources, you can just easily get 30k Stam and have decent health pool. And um, that's really what I've been going for, even though on this one here and no CP. Um, I'm down about 3,000 um, health from what I would be in CP campaign, but it's just a monumental difference with other classes on how many resources you can stack. And yeah, I'm going to continue working on this build here and we'll see where it goes, but uh, definitely loving the setup for right now.